about to enter a new dimension of not only factual stories, but of entertainment. This is The Spotlight Zone. Beyonce crush it at the Super Bowl with those dance moves. Yeah. Do you know who else crushes it? The Simley dance team. The girls are doing really awesome this season. The dance team has always been successful at all their competitions. I'm going to go see if they can teach me how to dance. <laughs> so far this year, the girls were jazz conference champs and kick runner-ups at their conference meet. First in jazz and second in kick at their Cannon Falls quad meet and placed third in jazz and kick at their home invite. With their phenomenal record and incredibly successful pass, the girls have added new additions to their varsity team, including 7th grader Haley Shefnick, freshman Morgan Cox, Cassidy Watson, Christy Schultz, and Alyssa Galavis, and sophomores Andrea Gilberg and Sam Suchi. This is my second year on varsity kick, and it takes a lot of work. It's really hard. I think competitions are really fun because the fans are great, and it's really fun just to be on the floor. Captains Annie Mollison, Emily Eichstead, and Taylor Shefnick explain what adds to their winning streak. So, uh, one thing people really don't know about us is that we're super superstitious. Yeah, we got the knock on wood like 24-7. All the time. Every day. Every day. Every day. All the time. All the time. What else? Seniors have matching shoes. Oh yeah! We have matching shoes. We do have matching shoes. Along with their superstitions, they are also prepared for sections using their road to sections where many quotes are placed and are looked at daily for inspiration. We have our road to sections up in the dance room. Yep, every day there's a new quote, something very inspirational. We're super inspirational. We're super inspirational. <laughs> <laughs> Good lesson, girls. Make sure you go support the girls and fair about this weekend. This has been Pai Yang reporting for the Spartan Spotlight. basketball team goals this year is to go to state and have more team bondings. Our upcoming stars are we have uh, uh, eighth grader Asia Lockett, her sister. Um, she's a really good three-point shooter if you guys didn't know. We have a freshman Abby Kind who's part of the Twin Towers with Kylie and then we have sophomore Katie Atkins. She'll be very good in the future. Uh, so far, the season's been really good. We started out the season 12 and 4. Uh, we had one of the toughest uh, non conference schedules we've ever had since we've been here. During the non conference uh, time, we beat um, Richfield, who's currently ranked number one, um, Benil, who's currently ranked in the top seven, and then also Como Park, who was ranked 10th at the time we beat them. We are 12 and 4. We have a 10 game winning streak. We are so good. I love my captains and my team. We've had a really good season so far and hopefully we'll make it to state. Shout out to my girl Brown Down. She's a beast. Kylie Brown. She really likes drafts and purple. It's been real. This is Rashad Nixon. And Zach Gulliver supporting for the sports club. Thanks a lot, guys. It sounds like the girls' season is a slam dunk. Everyone should be really proud of the boys' swimming team. What's your favorite swimming technique? Mine's the breaststroke. The mermaid. <laughs> hey, Simley, have you heard of the boys swimming and diving team? I heard they're making a big splash. I dove right in to check them out. The boys have started off with a great season. Oh, it's been pretty good this year. We have a winning record at, uh, what, 7-2. and two. Yeah. Got a lot of up-and-coming swimmers. Uh, we've got an upcoming swimmer, our whole freshman class, Lodica, Justin Breguet, Cameron Childs, it's a whole big freshman class that's going to be really good. As always, we're one of the hardest working teams by far, you know, it definitely, definitely translates and you can see it across the board. And you know, it'll, it'll carry good to sections and state. 
the strength of our team is definitely going to show through once again. We got a freshman's view on this favorite part of the swimming team. Our team is really close, and we really have a lot of parties, so it's fun to go to. I've heard from boys about their interesting coach, Newton. She's like the devil. Once you <laughs> sign your name to her, you can't escape. You, she has your soul forever. Head coach Newton gave us her thoughts about the team this year. Right now we are 7-1, and one, and we are ranked 7th in the state. They're doing better than I actually thought they were because we have a very young team. We don't have a lot of seniors, and we have a lot of young kids. We have 72 people on our team, 72 guys, and uh, the majority of them are 9th grade and under. We attended the Shakopee meet and caught up with Michael Green before and after one of his races. I have a lot of pressure on me right now, so I gotta swim really, really fast. You just won, Michael. How are you feeling? Pretty good. So before this race, Zach Gaten told me that if I won, he would join the swim team next year. I'm thinking he's about a size 28. Hope you guys enjoyed learning more about Simley boys swimming and diving. Make sure you go support him at State and Sections. This has been Zach Gaten reporting for Spartan Spotlight. Thanks, Zach. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break from Spartan Spotlight to bring you announcements from other people. This week, the Simley Theater Guild is presenting two plays, The Actor's Nightmare and Drama Chorus, on Thursday at 7 o'clock, Friday at 7.30, and Saturday also at 7.30. Tickets are $5 for students and seniors, $10 for adults, and $3 for children 12 and under. So come support the Simley Theater Guild. You'll be sure to laugh. That's it for this week's guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Nathan Wegleitner. And I'm Bree Chica. Make sure to watch next week. Signing out.